Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing great. I hope that you have been studying as well. So today is the day before the physics CSEC examination. I'm going to do my prediction. I should have done this long time, but time is really a factor right now. Before I start, I'm going to go through this disclaimer. And this reads that this is a prediction of the likelihood of a topic showing up on the 2024 CSEC physics paper 2. This is not an absolute determination of a set topics because no information about the actual examination is known to me. Hence, full revision of the syllabus is required. All right, so this is, again, is just a prediction of what might come or what I, I think may come on the examination. So the format of this prediction is to compare topics from May, June 2022 and also 2023, along with January 2022 and January 2023. All right, we're also going to take a glance at the general topics as well, and then we're going to do the 2024 prediction. All right, so firstly, into this, the recap of the 2022 papers, May, June, and also January. In May, June 2022, they tested radioactivity, half-life, and of course, there was a graph and half-life. All right, question number one is always a graph, so look out for that. Um, physical quantities, and specifically, they talk about derived quantities. They look at Newton's second law of motion. They look at vector diagrams, thermal energy. Gas laws, I know this I have asterisks at some places. Those are the topics that were tested over the past two to three years quite frequently compared to others. All right. Pressure and Archimedes principle, waves, electricity, and circuits. And in January 2022, we, they looked at gas law and the graph was on grass and gas law, transfer of heat. All right. And specifically, they also um, tested specific heat capacity look at mirrors reflection and light waves all right they also look at refractive index and critical angle also momentum and collision electromagnetism transformers and radioactivity and radioactivity has been popping up a lot so please look out for that in may june 2023 they tested thermal energy and specific heat capacity again and that was the graph this time. Look at the transfer of heat. Again, that is also a frequently popping up topic if you notice it. All right. Conservation of energy. Look at wind turbine to be specific. Energy and also power. Well, they also look at the work. I think there's a question on work was there as well. Waves, thermocouple, kinetic theory, which is frequently tested. And trust me, they will, they will put kinetic theory in different parts of questions. So they don't generally ask you, the kinetic theory by itself, but they will put it in topics like, for example, in thermal physics. So they kind of merge those things, you know, or ask you to explain certain things based on the kinetic theory. All right, so please look out for that. Logic gates was tested on the May, June 2023 um, examination. Electromagnetism, radioactivity. And in January 2023, now they look at pendulum. That was the graph. That was question number one. Pressure and obthrust. So we look at pressure in fluids. Um, they tested heat transfer again. All right, they look at thermal energy. So thermal energy and heat transfer have been popping up over the past three years a lot. Look at electromagnetic waves, water waves, light waves, and also critical angle. And also they tested static electricity and radioactivity. Again, radioactivity have been popping up a lot. All right. Now, for the general topics, right, I want you to just pay attention to this because it is separated into five segments. And so my thing would be for you to at least know at least 80% of all of these topics because more likely a question may come from one of them. You see what I'm saying? So be careful and make sure you go through all of these um, segments. So mechanism, and they're talking about things like motions and so on, right? Thermal physics and kinetic theory, you notice that, again, was always something being tested or frequently tested on, at least part of that, right? Waves and optics, electricity and magnetism, the physics of atoms, which include radioactivities. So if you notice, they've always been testing these things. So these are the topics that will come. These are the general topics. But to go to the specific topics now, let's look at the general or complete subtopics on those general ones. All right, so look at basic and derived quantities, vectors and adding vectors, looking at resultant vectors, statistics, um, and look at forces, mass, and weight, 
turning forces, look at moment of force, center of gravity, B formation, specifically Hooke's law, dynamic, um, dynamic, um, dynamics, uh, motion, law of motion, momentum, energy, work, and power. I just statistic and talking about um, pressure and fluids. All right, so talk about pressure, Archimedes principle, kinetic theory, heat and energy, temperature, and they always kind of link the kinetic theory as related to temperature again, as I mentioned earlier. Phases of matter, and again, they also apply kinetic theory to the phases of matter. So they do not normally test directly the kinetic theory, but they apply it to something else, all right? So look out for those things, all right? All right, next, um, thermal expansion gas laws, specific heat capacity, which is frequently being tested, specific latent heat, transfer of heat energy, that also been popping up a lot. So, so pay attention to that and talk about conduction, radiation, convection, waves, generally properties of waves, parts of waves, electromagnetic waves, light waves, and also you have to know about reflection, refraction, and diffraction, critical angle, and total internal reflection. Please note, and, and, and I should have put that on my prediction. Now I'm seeing it. I just have a, a gut feeling about uh, calculating critical angle and internal reflection as it relates to internal reflection. So I have a, now I have a strong feeling to that. I don't know why now. All right. Anyhow, 20, um, the 24th um, section of the subtopics include lens, lenses. You have to know ray diagrams, properties of, of ray diagrams, magnification, electrostatistic, electrical charge. You have to know um, those are things you want to pay attention to. Charging by induction, electric field, AC versus DC. And continuing, we have current electricity, electric flow, conventional current, electrical energy and power, circuits and types of circuit diagram, series and parallel, series parallel, and also the properties of the different circuits. All right, so it's, it, it is good for you to at least look at circuits. I would say that at least remember it. I'm um, looking at cells, resistance and resistors, electricity in the home, and you can look at breakers and cost of electricity and so on, fuses. Electric field, electronics, and on the electronics, they talk about semiconductors and, and rectification, logic gates, magnetism, circuits, and we look at circuits, look at magnetic force, and also field, electric field, and magnetic field in circuits. Electromagnet, motors and transformers, and motors and transformers will be on my prediction because I have, a, I have a real strong feeling towards those. Properties of atom. All right, and of course, that is related to radioactivity as well. Um, the Gigum uh, Marsden and also atomic structures, uh, radioactivity, half life, and I'm predicting radioactivity and half life will show itself somehow. Um, radio um, isotopes as well, nuclear energy, and those are the complete topics. And now for the predicted topics, and this again is my prediction. So, question number one is always a graph. All right, so this is not even a prediction. This is something for you to look out for. Graph will show up on question number one. Please know to draw a line of best fit. Also, please know where to put your independent variable, which is on the x-axis, and your dependent variable on the y-axis, unless they stated otherwise. But it must be drawn that way. All right, draw smooth lines, fine points for your coordinates. Please label your axis, label your axis. And when you're doing physics exam, please look out for your units. Write your units, please, okay? Write your units, all right? And show your workings as well. The answers is usually like a mark. We have to show you your conversions, all right? Your substitutions, please, in your calculations. Please do those things. Those are very important. There may be a difference with you getting a one or a two, all right? And you're aiming for that one, I'm sure. Waves, look at waves. Energy work and power, make sure you know that. Generator, motor, elect or electric field, I'm kind of guessing one or the other. Uh, motor or generator, I'm kind of leaning to one of them, might show up itself. And if not, you may see electromagnetism or electricity. Logic skate, I'm kind of half and half with that one, to be honest with you. Radioactivity and half-life, please look at that. Gas law, and when you talk about gas law, you need to know the relationship between pressure, volume, and temperature. Kinetic theory. As it applies, I mentioned, you may not get it directly, but it may apply to, to, to thermal energy and so on, right? Or the states of matter and, and all of that movement of particles, right? Light, sound, or water waves. Please look out for those things. Again, make sure you know to calculate something in electricity. 
or electricity, make sure you know that. Motion, please look at motion. I would say motion is important. All right, so anything we got to that forces, please. All right, so this is my prediction here. And I hope this will help you. I pray to God that these quest, um, topics will show up on the exam. All right. Anyhow, study the whole thing. Study as best as possible. Thank you for watching. And again, good luck on the examination. I know it's late. And I please wish you luck in the examination. Take care for this examination season. And I will talk to you soon.